Hey everybody, I'm Susan O'Connor. I teach in the radio, television, and film department. And my topic is a little unusual. I teach students how to write, but not for film, not for TV, but how to write for video games. And I'm here to share one thing that's worked for me. So um, the thing that's worked for me kind of caught me by surprise. Um, and that is, I, I took the time to try to figure out how to tie my topic material to what's really going on with students' lives. So, you know, when we taught in person, it just was much easier to develop relationships with them and, and to help them know that I was really caring about them and looking out for them. And it created that sense of safety in the classroom that allowed for learning to, to take place. And now that we're all on Zoom, that relationship stuff tends to fall away. They just become little images on the screen and vice versa. And I really wanted to let them know that even though we are physically separated, I'm still thinking about them. I'm still trying to meet them where they're at. And my class is upper division. So most of my students are seniors. Graduation is on their mind. Starting their next phase of their life is on their mind. They're terrified about getting jobs and how does that all work? And it's a big mystery to them. So it's on their mind uh, when they're in my class. And so I took a, I took a, one lesson and I applied what I have been teaching with them about game writing to job search. Like how do we start a career? And I really mapped the idea of starting a career and looking for a job to the experience of playing a game. I talked about how when we play a game, we don't mind if it's challenging. In fact, if it's too easy, it's pretty boring. We like challenge in our games. It helps us get better. And it, it's very satisfying to win a difficult game. And we, I talked about the idea of you know, when you when you uh, lose, right? When you fail at something in a game, you don't quit the game. You go, oh, okay, hmm, this end boss is tough. I need to I need to try harder, or I need a different strategy, and you know, come at the same problem from a different direction with maybe more skills or more information or something. And you do it and you do it, and eventually you win. I said the same mentality can work when you're looking for a job, and so I really framed the whole process of of building your network. Um, and getting out there in the world as a game. And I, 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 think it, I think it helps them because for two reasons. One, it makes my topic, which maybe initially sort of felt like just a sort of a fun diversion and suddenly made it very relevant to like their real world concerns. And it also helped kind of take their, something that was big and scary and frightening and felt a little unapproachable for some of them and kind of brought it down to size. Like, oh, it's just a, it's just a challenge. I have faced challenges before and succeeded and I can succeed here too. And probably the most important part is that it, it helped to sort of build that sense of trust between us, right? It helped them to see that the material we talk about in this class is important to them and that I'm here to help make something that feels frightening and confusing feel very manageable and interesting and actually engaging and fun. So that's one thing that's worked for me and uh, I hope that that sparks some ideas for you. Thanks for watching.